Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Space Wreck, where Captain Cupboard has completed one of her main goals, which is to go and get fuel. We now do have fuel on the little shuttle here, which is all very good. The next thing we need is some sort of replacement fuel chip thingamajigger to repair the broken one on our main bigger ship. So not this one here, this is a little shuttle that came from our bigger ship, the one that we are or were the captain of. So we have to go and find some sort of fuel maintenance chip or whatever it was. I don't know, some sort of technological MacGuffin thing jig that we need to repair something however i suspect we're going to get one from either here on this kind of crash spacecraft which is sticking out of the space station and i think if we get it from there that might be okay because they're not using that ship anymore clearly it's a little bit broken but if there's not one there we might have to go and take it from here now of course that ship is in use that ship is a working ship that's the ship that these scavengers arrived on so if we do go over there and steal their one, that might be a little bit naughty because that ship is currently operational. That one there broken, if we find it on there, brilliant, no harm done. That one there, we possibly could condemn a load of people to being stuck on this station forever more, which is a little bit naughty, but we will see how we go. However, we do have with us right there, Ingrid. And Ingrid's been wandering around with us for ages and we haven't really found what she's looking for. She wants some sort of security room type thing to go and tap into a database of some kind. But a few people in the comments have pointed out that the security room is over here. We're right next to it. Look, there's kind of like a special sort of security sort of police -y badge type thing on the wall. So I assume it's over here somewhere. Is it around here? Is it downwards possibly? Is it over there? I'm not quite sure, but a few people said it's right next to where we're standing. So it might be, maybe it's down there. Possibly it's down those stairs. They said it's right on the way in, you know, sort of on the first bit of the game that we did. So maybe before we go over here, because I was going to go and have a look around here, we'll try and help Ingrid out. So I don't think it's that welcome desk. Come this way, Ingrid. I don't think it's this. I suspect maybe we might have to go down those stairs. Um, yeah, okay, Ingrid. Is it in here? Uh, okay, so it's not there. Let's go and find the security station. I mean, maybe, maybe that is implying that the stairs down are where the security bit is. So let's go over here, look. That robot is deactivated, which is wonderful. Now this, of course, is where we nearly died in our very first part, I think, because we popped down here and we didn't realize that there was no oxygen. So we nearly died down here. Um, surveillance terminal. Is that the one you want? Is that the thing you're after? Employee database. There we go. Here we are. The terminal is over there. Thank you, commenting people. I wouldn't have really made that link between the sort of policey badge type thing on the wall and the sort of security stuff being over here. So there you go. Thank you, commenting people. Right. There you go, Ingrid. The terminal is over there. Let's see. Casimir, Casimir. Here you are. All right. Here's a bed and locker in the communal bedroom below Space Dock North communal bedroom. I guess that's where we're heading next. Let's see what's inside that locker. Okay. So yeah, she's looking for Casimir. I can't quite recall exactly why, but okay. So Casimir, so a locker in the communal bedroom below Space Dock North. Okay. Communal bedroom. I guess it was silly to expect he had such luxury as his own room. There should be a dormitory somewhere for the station staff. Okay, we've been in there. I'm fairly certain we've been in there before. Um, okay, so let's head that way then. And then we'll come back here and have a look around this ship. Um, the only thing is, we do have to make our way back over there. And really, we could do with these two bots being deactivated. If they could go away, it would make our life a lot easier. It'd be so much easier to just walk around here because at the moment we kind of have to dodge around them and it's all a little bit kind of faffy and fiddly. But uh, but there we go. That's what we have to do. So come this way. Go to here. I think we want to go to... That's the North Dock, isn't it? Um, It was around here. Uh, down here, look. There we go. That's what we want to get to. Okay, we're down here in the bunk room. However, Ingrid, can we have a little reminder about what you'd like us to actually go and do? Because I've completely forgotten. So that's the mission that Ingrid gave us. Casimir's card. Find a security key card to disable cam bots in the fuel bunker. Which is a little bit weird, Ingrid. Because we went there together, Ingrid. You and I, we skipped into the fuel bunker merrily hand in hand. And we took fuel from it. And as far as I recall, the robots were okay. They definitely didn't kill us to death. Because, of course, we are both very much alive just there. One robot did get a little bit kind of grumpy with us, didn't it? One robot got a little bit kind of feisty. But then it calmed down when we went up the stairs and came back down again. It seemed okay. And yeah, we took fuel from here. 
we've got fuel in our ship from this bunker here. So they weren't that bothered. They weren't too bothered with us. Maybe the issue is that the bots are okay with us, but they're not okay with the rest of the scavengers. So possibly Ingrid needs this card to switch off the bots properly, like in their entirety, you know, switch them off or blow them up or whatever. Although maybe blowing them up in a fuel bunker might not be entirely advisable, but you know, sort of make them stop moving around and switch them off properly. So then the scavengers can come in and get the fuel they need. And they're welcome to the rest of the fuel. We don't care now. We've got the fuel we need. They can have the rest of it. We're not that bothered. As long as we have enough to get back to our ship, that's absolutely fine. So I think really the only reason we're doing this mission here is to then get some XP from it, which would be good because, you know, then we can level up. And that might allow us to then complete that mission to help the scavengers get into the fuel bunker, which would give us more XP to maybe get us up another level, possibly. So we're not redoing this for any other reason except to get XP, I think. Which is okay. And, you know, to be a good person, we're helping people out. That's a nice thing. So, okay. So what are we looking for then? So, yeah, Casimir. Okay, so is there a Casimir lying around? Is that the remains of Casimir? Um, no. We don't have Casimir's card already, do we? We haven't picked that up already. I don't think we can sort it alphabetically, but I don't think we have Casimir's card. Okay, so fairly sure we haven't already picked it up. So, is it in a locker? Oh, Kroger's 3D printer access. Okay, that might be handy. We'll take that. That could be useful. Um, a nail... No, nothing in there, nothing in there. Plenty of nails around, plenty of nails. There's a screen slate loaded with, loaded with imagery. Oh, and another one, crikey. Okay, there's a regular screen slate, black hole cola. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's through this door because this is near the north, the north kind of docking point, isn't it? Hang on, if we come back round here. Oh uh, yeah, stairs up. So there is, yeah, there's the north sort of, yeah, docking point thing. So I think this must be what they're referring to. I'm going to assume that it's through here. So can we get through this door? We've tried before, I think, haven't we? Um, we need the correct key card. Okay, I think we've examined it before. Oh, no, we haven't examined this one. Okay, examine the lock. And oh, my goodness me, we got a plus. Okay, there's a hastily attached note to the bathroom door. It says in two lines, don't cambot open inside. If you listen carefully, you can hear some electronics behind the door. Oh, Oh, okay, we have to finish your interaction. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, there is a robot potentially in there that might shoot us a bit. Oh, there is a hairpin, which we could use to unlock the door, but we can't use it because it's on the other side of the door. Okay, we've catch 22 with that one. Um, right, so where is Casimir's whatever it is that we're looking for? What exactly? Oh, hang on, there's a vent there. Hang on. Hang on a second. There's a secret thing. There's a secret thing. There's a vent. And then it looks like there is a little secret corridor because just there, there is a floaty corpse. There's a floaty dead person. And it looks like maybe we can walk around the edges. Oh, oh, that could be useful. Hang on. Can we fit through that vent? Can we fit through the vent? I'm not quite sure where Casimir is. Or the card that you're after. I do apologise. Again, commenting people, maybe help out with that one. Um, it's not on there, I assume. It's not on the broken robot. Uh, we'll examine it, because we might as well. Can't go wrong. It's not going to come back online, I don't think. Oh my goodness, we've got another plus. Um, let's try to dismantle the innards. Uh, oh, need a wrench. Okay, we broke our wrench, I think. Uh, I don't think we can check the beds, can we? The beds don't do anything. They don't have things on them. Uh, okay. So I'm not entirely sure, not entirely sure what we're looking for here, unless it's that thing. Do we need to look on there? Um, part of a network, but it's broken. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Can we turn it off and on again, please? Uh, maybe then, let's have a look at this vent. What do we need to get inside here? Use your screwdriver to undo bolts and open the vent hatch. Oh, we're through into a little sort of secret bit. Lizard men card. Okay, we're picking up cards for a game of some sort. We've got a dragon card. Now we've picked up a lizard man card. It's got a spear, it's got spear wounding, reptilians on the front, and description says an elite squad of warriors from the legendary Swamp Kingdom. Its power rating is zero. Okay. <laughs> right, the lizard men are rubbish. That's what we're going to take from that. Okay, so you've come in. So do we go through here? Okay, again, our screwdriver is 
done. Um, I don't think we're in this room. I think there is a wall here, isn't there? There's all. There's a door. There's a door there. Can we get to that door? All the doors are locked. This is a nuisance. However, what's up here then? So there's another. Oh, there's a door there as well. Can we? Can we just go through the door? Can we get to that door? Yes. Okay. Come this way. Oh. Error, cannot follow. Hey, wait for me. Come through the venting grid. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to look at this person's body here. Um, we've got... Well, screwdriver might be useful. We'll take another screwdriver. Um, don't want any of that stuff. Oh, come on, Ingrid. <laughs> come back. I cannot get there. We'll come through. Impossible to follow. I cannot follow. You follow me through that one, Ingrid. Okay, go through the vent, look. There we go. You're all fine, look. Wonderful. Right, where does that take us, then? Where does that ladder take us? Oh, there was a hatch there all along, was there? Okay, that would have been good to know. Okay, so that hatch leads over here. And then if we go over here, look, there's another There's another lizard man card. Okay, there are many lizard men cards around here. Another vent. Oh, oh, hang on. We've got to tinker with this one. And we've miserably failed. We've destroyed the tool while trying to unscrew the hatch. Okay, can we give it another go? Right, we've done it a second time. And then we're over here. Okay. This is intriguing. Oh, Ingrid. <laughs> are you with us, Ingrid? Only you are with us. Yay, that's good. Um, right. What's over here, then? To underside. Ooh. Okay. This isn't what we're looking for, Ingrid, but we found exciting things. What's in here, then? So what's through here? Don't be any terrifying robots. Um... Okay, a small valve. I read this terrifying robot. It's okay with us. Okay, I, d I, I d just got slightly scared there, but no, we're all good. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't like that very much. Um, there's a um, a printer thing. The robot doesn't care about us, which is good. Uh, there's a roll of duct tape. Awoo, just there. And then we've got uh, whatever that is, some sort of socket, electric cartridge, Various of the bits and bobs. Okay, so what's in here? What's in that room then? That is, um, what's that? 3D printer console, body of a maintenance worker. Okay, hello. Uh, we'll have that, and we'll have that, and we'll have the screwdriver because they're useful. Um, and then we've got, yeah, a 3D printer of some kind. Okay, what does this do then? What do we do with this? It 3D prints huge big things. Uh, log in. Can we log in? Yes, we can. Uh, read me. It's a full, completely autonomous 3D printing solution with minimal interaction required. To print an item... Oh, hang on. Place a 3D ink cartridge on the target spot marked with white, open the 3D printing console and select the target item, wait a few seconds, and then pick it up. Okay. Right. I think there is one of those in the other thing, isn't there? Oh, hang on, hang on. What can we print? What can we actually print? Because I think if we press print, we can see a list of things. Um, ah, okay, we can't do it right now because we have to put down a 3D printing cartridge thing. That's got to go in a white location, it said, I think. So we have to, oh, we have to go in. Oh, right, I see. Right, we can go into that room. I thought it was going to be sealed off, but okay, no. A little bit scary that we're trapped in there. Have we got a 3D printing cartridge thing? I think there have been a few around. Um, no. Okay, I don't think we have, but there is one over here, I'm fairly sure. Uh, 3D ink cartridge. Let's give this a go, shall we, for fun. So pick that thing up. It's only 0 0.75 in size. Right, so come back over here. Then do we just drop it? Is that what we do? Just drop it on the floor. Okay, so inventory. Um, 3D... Oh, where's it gone? Maybe we did have one. I thought it was going to appear at the end. Hang on a minute. Where Where is the thing? Oh, no. Hang on a minute. There it is. Right, so that. So drop it where we stand. So that's now on the floor. So come back this way. Ingrid, come out of the 3D printing room. Because I might... Hang on a minute. I want Ingrid to come out of the... Ingrid, <laughs> I don't want you to get 3D printed to death. Right, print. Select an item to print. Oh, we can print a B521. That will complete another mission. Uh, oh, crikey. Oh, look. You can print the actuator stabilizer thing that you need for the um, for the medical machine repairs. 
Oh, that's quite good. Another way of completing the mission. Another way of doing it. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, uh, B521, please. Do that. Oh, woozy things are happening. And it's now turned into a B521 thing, whatever that is. Replacement part for a ship engine, some sort of valve. Okay, we can pick it up. We can't hold much else. So I think maybe, um, where do those stairs take us? Where do they go? Because they might go up to where we need to go. There's a guy outside, isn't there, on near the big orange ship that wants that particular component. Yeah, he's over here, isn't he? Let's go and give him the thing he was after. Hello. Hi. Dumpis. I found the thing. Did you need something? I've got that replacement valve you wanted. Yeah, we just 3D printed it. It's only downstairs. You could have done that yourself. Oh, let me see. Looks good. What would you want in return? How about 20 electric cartridges? Um, zero. If you need tools, I can offer a soldering iron or a cutter saw. Both pretty rare. 20 electric cartridges or ammo. Yeah, we don't do too much in the way of ammo. A soldering iron or a cutter saw. Okay, we've seen a few soldering irons. They've been around. We haven't seen cutter saws, I don't think. Let's grab a cutter saw, shall we? You give him the valve, and he in turn gives you the cutter saw. And we get some XP. That's very good. Right, so now he's just kind of using it to fix the thing that he was working on. Okie dokie, so another mission done. Another one done. But now, yeah, Kazimir Novak has a bed and locker in a communal bedroom below Spaceport North. Maybe, maybe we were looking in the wrong place? Let's go and try and find where that bedroom is. I, I couldn't find where it was before, but yeah, Kazmin Novak has got a bed and locker somewhere with something useful in. Unless we have picked it up. I'm a little bit, a bit concerned that we've already picked it up. So these are all of our keys, but I can't see anything that would imply it belongs to Casimir thingamajiggery. So yeah, I don't think we have. So let's go back. Uh, I mean, we can go back that way can we? Oh, there's an orc card there. There's more cards. We'll pick that up because they might come in use. I don't weigh anything, so we shall have that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's go back down here and make our way back to where the room was. Uh, yeah, got to go through some vents and things, but I think now they're unlocked. I think all the vents are sort of open now. So let's go through here. So work our way through and back over there and just see if we can find where Casimir might be. Oh, hang on. We just got some XP for opening that door. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe we've done things out of sequence and the game isn't very happy with things. But yeah, we just got XP for opening that door, which I think was part of the Guzzoline quest that we've already completed. Yeah, we found the door to the station's bunker. Yeah, we've already done that. We've been in here. We've got the XP for that. This is all a bit weird. Um, I mean, can we just walk straight through? It would be handy if we could walk right through. And look, we can. The robots don't care. They're not bothered by us at all. Um, I'm a bit concerned they might be bothered by Ingrid. There's a vent right there. Where does that vent go? Is there a pass? There's a passage around there, look. Does that lead? Hang on, hang on. We have to try and go through here. I have picked up a few screwdrivers. Okay, that's handy. Oh, crikey. Okay, Ingrid hasn't come through. Ingrid, <laughs> come on, come through the vent, Ingrid. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, look, there's lots of these little sort of secret corridor type things around. Okay, we're in that one. And Ingrid has come through this time. That's good. Um, yeah, so where does that end? That goes, can't really see. It goes up here. A bit. Ah, there's a vent just there. Okay, I can't follow you. Yes, you can, Ingrid. It's all for, ah, we're outside. We're outside, look. I'm a little bit wary of this. This is a bit frightening. Um, I don't think we can go any more that way. I don't think we can go over there. Oh, no, we can go over there. There's a vent. Oh! So you can bypass the entire uh, the entire fuel room, sorry, by, by just venting around the edges. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's an interesting thing. I never knew that. Right, come back through this vent, then. We'll pop through here. And then we'll go through that vent. I cannot get there. Ah, it's all fine, Ingrid. Don't you worry. And then and then we're back down here, look. We're back over here. Is there any wire over here? Do we have to go through that vent there? Oh, no. Okay, hang on. Come on, roll a plus a day. Nope, two more minuses. <laughs> we are rubbish at rolling dice. We are terrible. Okay, I don't, have we not got any more? We haven't got any more screwdrivers. 
Okay, that's a bit annoying because I wanted to come out over here. But uh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, look, all these things over here might have useful stuff. But right, okay, you know, back we go then. Never mind. At least we're over here now. At least we're kind of over here. We know we can get round here. So yeah, Ingrid, come this way. Let's see what we can do. It might be worth just having a chat with the guy now. Just with whatever he's called, the boss guy. Oh, Ingrid, come on. <laughs> this way, Ingrid, through the vent, crawly crawl. Um, yeah, so pop up here, look. Because I think that brings out into the main sort of promenade bit. Is it worth just having a chat with him now anyway? And just saying, look, you can get your fuel. It's fine. The robot's all been sorted out. It's all okay. Uh, oh, hey, what's up? I got the key card. Oh, show the item. Okay, did we have the key card all along? I'm a bit confused. Okay, I've got the key card. Um, get out of here. Okay, one way to find out, I guess. Okay. What now? What I don't know. Use the key card. Okay, help the scavengers get in the fuel bunker. Okay, so we've done that. So Vilnius, hello. Hey, what's up? I got the door open. Did you for reals? Literally turn your head and you will see the open door, my friend. <laughs> Snaps fingers in excitement. Let's go in then. And about our agreement, as far as I can tell, you've done your part, mate. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Uh, as promised, you can take as many fuel cells from the bunker as you can. We'll be down there bringing pumps online. Cheers. End conversation. Okay. So they are, oh, they've both gone. Everyone's gone. They've all gone. Okay, hang on. But we've still got Casimir's card as an outst- I think that's possibly gone a bit wobbly, but okay. Fuel chip. Here we go. So if they're all now paying attention to the other thing, is it worth having a look on their ship? Or do we go and look around that ship first? Do we look around the crashed one? It's a bit more of a rigmarole to get to that one now. Whereas this one, we can just walk right up to. Let's maybe, if we can get past Dumpus there, Possibly go and have a look around their ship. Can we have a chat with him first? Hello. Right, he's focused on his work. That's good. So can we creep onto your... Can we enter your ship? C can we go onto the ship? Yeah, okay. Ooh, right. This feels like we shouldn't be here. But okay. Oh, do you know what, though? We'll take a hairpin. Absolutely, we'll take a hairpin. We're almost at our carry weight limit, as we always are. But yeah, a hairpin is a useful thing. Um, anything else we want to rob? I mean, borrow from here while we're here. Uh, okay. So we need cargo hull access, cat tube one access. Uh, right. Okay. We possibly could do with getting this door unlocked. Please, please roll a plus on at least one of these dice, for goodness sake. And hey, there we go. It worked, finally. <laughs> okay. We've identified the lock mechanism, actuator, controller, and there you go. We've done the stuff and we've opened the door. Okie doke. So we can go through. Hit right. Robot. Angry robot. Run away. We know what's in there now, though. We know there is a robot. So deactivate combat. Because now we don't need to do any fighting. Um, okay. We could make a break for that hatch. There's going to be loads of stuff in there. There's going to be loads of useful things. There's hairpins and duct tape. Woo! Loads of stuff. There's wires to make more hairpins. Okay, there's so much useful stuff. Uh, yeah, we could do with having a look around in there. Uh, maybe. Have we still got a hairpin? Yeah, okay, right. Can we have... Oh, we haven't got the hairpin. Because the hairpin has gone. Okay, what if... What if we try and time our run, as it were? So we run in here while that robot can't see us. What if we just try and run to here, look... Maybe if we try and stay out of its way, it won't be able to find us, possibly. I'm not quite sure. So if we come... No, okay. That, hang on. We're on, the, we're on the hatch, though. Um, the hatch allows exit spaceship by a ladder down, but at the moment there is nowhere to go. Oh, okay. We're going to run away, running away, bravely running away. And I think we're out of combat again. Okay. <laughs> Hooray, we're out of combat. Wonderful. I wonder if we have to be a little bit more precise with our run here. So maybe as soon as it goes around that corner, right, it can't see us. Okay, so we've gone to there, right, come round. Which side is it going? It's coming around this side. So come round here, grab that hair, two hairpins. That's super useful. Um, okay, it's now there. What about these doors? What do you know about these doors? Okay, those doors 
are okay. Right, run around the corner, run around this corner. Oh, no, hang on a minute, come back to here. Okay, it's going that way. Can we run through this door? Can we leg it through that door incredibly quickly? Yes, we can. Okay, go around the corner, end. Okay, we can't end combat just yet, but I think uh, we've got one action point left. I think end our turn there. We are detected, but if we run around the corner a bit more, we probably should be okay because the door will hopefully shut and we can leg it out of it. This could be the end of the run, everybody. <laughs> uh, no, the robot is, it's pursuing us. Okay, th this could be bad. We're going to carry on running away unless that door is locked, in which case we are very much in trouble. Okay, if we go to, go to there, can we go through the vent? Ah, right, okay. Out of combat? Yes. Okay, we've just vented our way out of out of trouble. Okay, and now we're in this big long sort of side corridor thing, which possibly could give us access to all the different bits of the ship that we need. Uh, okay, well let's go through here. Look, uh, whiskey and a hairpin. This is there's so many hairpins on this ship. This is magnificent. Um, the fuel. What is it? Fuel regulator chip thingamajigger. Fuel regulator. So, yeah, where would we find a fuel regulator? In some sort of engine room, I would imagine. What's in here? Are there dangerous robots in here? Are there people in here? Uh, fu fuel regulators. Hang on, hang on. Find a fuel regulator and fix your ship. Uh, okay, can, can we take these? <laughs> can I have a fuel regulator? It's 0 0.25 in weight. Uh, you got it, you found the chip, get back to the ship ASAP. I mean, is it worth taking another one in case we mess up the first one, just as a reserve? Uh, oh, this is quite good. So, if you don't want to get the fuel and stuff from the main, main sort of station even, you can just sort of break into this ship and then just, and just steal all their stuff. You could have their fuel look. You could take their fuel, take their fuel regulator things, and then, and then just get out of there. Okay. Uh, right, I mean, that's good. That's good. I like that. That's a good thing. Uh, are we going to go back and put that onto our ship? I think we might do. I think. Do you know what? What's, hang on, hang on. What's in here? There's a room here. And I feel like we should go and have a look at whatever is in this room. Please don't be a big death robot. Or a person. A person would also be bad. Um, ah, no. It's just a little sort of a tiny bedroom type thing. Okay, maybe where the engineering team sleep or something. Right, I think then we make our way out of here. So we have to go through that door. We can come along here. There's a door there, which we might be able to pick now. But if not, we'll have to come out here and then try and avoid the robot again. I mean, is it worth trying to go down that hatch just to see what's there? Uh, let's do that. Show. Right, so come this way. So walk down the little kind of sneaky side corridor thing. That's all fine. Um, anything in there we particularly need? Not really. I mean, I do want to know where that hatch goes. But I think, yeah, if we come here then. So come here. Walk that way. The door is locked. Okay, right. We've got three hairpins. We've got a tinker of two. Can we please roll a plus? Hey, roll a plus. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Open the door. Hairpin lost. But that's now open forever which is good so i think yeah i'd love to know what's down that hatch i mean it might possibly end up killing us to death but i would love to know what's there but we've got to wait for that robot to get out of the way first so let's wait for it to go around the corner it's got to go near those red things and then we'll try and dash through the door and jump down a hatch okay so like that look and then down the hatch we go ah right no it doesn't do anything at all right run around the corner stay away from the robot hide shut the door Okay, so yeah, it allows exit spaceship by ladder down. At the moment, there is nowhere to go. Okay, so we're on the bottom level of the spaceship, I think. So we could potentially, if we explored a bit more, work our way up. I bet, ooh, there's a, there's a person. Hello? <laughs> Hi, I've nicked all your stuff. I do apologise. I'm going to run away now. I'm going to go away. Possibly... I should just go back to the ship. You didn't see anything, Dumpis. I was never here. Like a like a like a thief in the night. Like a shadow I've gone. Oh, it was a masterful theft. Right. We want to get to there, please. Uh I mean, yeah, do we have to go the long way round again? 
I suspect we might do. Uh, where does that take us? The Skywalk. That's no quicker than anything else, is it? Then we have to go to here, do we? How do we get? We want to go to... We want to end up there. Because we can't go here because those robots get fighty and try to kill us. So we're going to have to come along... Unless we can use that terminal now. Have we got enough sort of keycard access and such like to use that machine? I'm not entirely sure. Where are we? We're over here. Okay, so let's walk around and try to use that terminal. Maybe now we've got the right keycard to switch those bots off. I'm not sure. We'll give it a go. Okay, stick close to the wall just in case. Right, wall terminal. Can we please switch the robots off? Disable security bots. Missing security ID card with appropriate clearance. Okay, can we hack it? And we tried and we failed. Okay, we could. Oh, we've got a re-roll back. Presumably because we leveled up. I wonder if it's worth one final re-roll of that. Is it worth one little last re-roll attempt? Can we just hack that? Re just give it a go. Got two re-rolls left. We're possibly going to be out of here in a second anyway, but it would be quite good. Can we just give it another go? We've got SciTech 3 now. If we just roll some plus it, three minuses. <laughs> Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I think we've learned that we are terrible at rolling dice. Okay, don't go just here because... Or can we go there and then just leg it down the ladder? Because, yeah, I think if we go... If we go through that door, is that going to see us and get all fighty? But I think we can run away. Let's let's give it a go, shall we? Right. Ah, no. Okay, we're okay. No, it's all good. We're all fine. We can come through here. This is all good. Right, so head over here... Let's see what we can do then. So yeah, the promenade's that way. Avoid the promenade. We never did get to go to the shop in the promenade. Okay, so head back over here then. Um, yeah, there's the person we spoke to first. So if we then go to our little shuttle over here, can we fit the fuel chip thingy? Uh, okay, there's there's a terminal. That's nice. <laughs> Where are we? No, 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 no. I didn't say to click that. I never said to click that at all. I want you to come over here and click on the ship. Click on anything else. Oh, okay. Hang on. How to captain has just popped up. The game's gone a bit strange. Are we back? Oh, there we go. Right. Yeah, it wasn't sort of hovering over stuff. And now it's doing it again. Okay. So go to there then. Yeah. So go to the, go to the shuttle. Can we go to the shuttle? Can we interact with the shuttle? I've got the thing. I've got the fuel chip thingamajig. So access shuttlecraft. Okay, so we can go into the shuttlecraft. Uh, I mean, what do we do here? Authorise, yeah. So it's me. Hi, I'm the captain. Radio comms. So what do we find in here? Hello, is that you, captain? Yes. No, it's a sentient squid from outer space. End transmission. I'm not. I'm not going to tease him. Yes, it's us. Of course it is. Um, why are you calling? Is everything all right? No, I'm the captain. For some reason, I am also the fool who's jumping from one derelict space junk to another. There is someone else here. Uh, yes, kind of. I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to chat. Sure. What's up? Uh, there's someone else here. Uh, what the heck? How come I ran out of fuel? Remind me, what do I need to do? The place is crawling with killer robots. How am I supposed to explore anything without getting killed? Fair question. Um, how come I ran out of fuel? Because it is deeply suspicious that we ran out of fuel. I am very dubious about such a thing. Uh, I think it was rigged. I think somebody wanted us to get stuck on this place. And yet yeah, we've, we've you know, thwarted their plans. But what happened? The backup shuttlecraft probably hasn't been used ever since it left the factory. The fuel system works, but apparently, ineffectively, it needs a bit of tuning. A bit of tuning? I almost didn't make it. Okay, I will get a bit grumpy about that. Captain, unfortunately, these things happen. I wish we could do a more, uh, do a more thorough pre-flight check, but, you know, space pirates! <laughs> okay, okay, right. Um, easy for you to say. It's my bottom on the line. All right, no more surprises. Got it? Uh, what? Not even at your birthday party? Not funny. Let's discuss something else. Okay, I think we're okay. So in that transmission, so I mean, have we got, we've got everything, haven't we? The fuel chip, we've got that. Get back to the ship ASAP. So we've not found this thing, but we've sort of helped them anyway. That's kind of, that's irrelevant now because they can get into the fuel thing anyway. We've dealt with the robots another way. So that should sort of go away, really. I'd like that to be kind of out of the way. Um... Okay, so get back to the ship ASAP. So do, do we just go away now? Is this what we do? Do we fly off? Um, okay, 
Let's just access the shuttlecraft then, and then we'll just fly away, I suppose. Okay, so take off. Do we just take off and get out of here? Select destination, fly back to your ship. And yeah, we can do that because we have got the sort of repair parts. We need a couple of them, in fact, just in case one explodes or whatever. So fly back to the ship. There we are. We fly away. And, oh, there's a little kind of mappy type thing going on. Uh, yeah, that's on the start screen. That's on the start screen. There's our shuttle. So I think that shows all the different things that we got up to. Right, there's our main ship, the Bulta. So we go into there, and then I assume we repair it. Oh, hang on. We have to still carry on, do we? Okay, there's a lot of people around. Um, right, okay, so... Yeah, those engines have no no things. They've got no regulators. Okay, so right, to do then is just, yeah, the fuel chip thing. Find a fuel regulator and fix your ship. Okay, do we, do we just go and do that now? I mean, why? Is everyone okay? Hello? Hi, guys. It's me, the captain. Shuttle bay door. It's locked. Why is the shuttle bay door locked? Well, I can't get in. <laughs> Hello. The captain's here to save you all. Why? Why have you locked me out? Uh, bolt a lower access hatch. Uh, it's used to access a docked ship. Currently no ship docked. Okay. Go upwards then. Let's try and work our way around this then. Uh, yeah. Do they like us? Um, oh no, there's us. Right. Hello. How are you? Welcome back, captain. Good to see you. Uh, heck yeah, I'm back, baby. Across the jump space and back in one piece. Woohoo! Oh, that's that's very Betty. Come on, we're going to go for that. Slightly grimaces. I'm ecstatic that picking up a com replacement part was so much fun for you. You buzzkill. So, what's wrong? While you're away, tensions have been rising between second and first class passengers. It all spilled over when second class discovered that the elevator is locked, essentially trapping the downstairs. The fact the kitchen, along with food and water supplies, is upstairs makes it uh, all way worse. That does not sound good indeed. And then just as you're arriving, a few specially disgruntled passengers have apparently taken a hostage and are blocking our access to the engine bay. What? So we can't repair the engine? Okay, now we have a hostage crisis. Okay, uh, that's the worst part of it, yes. And also the hostage is Mr. Grundberg, as you probably know, our only mechanic. Of course, who else would it be? Captain, we need to resolve the hostage crisis as soon as possible. The pirates are undoubtedly on our tail, and if we don't get out of dodge now, they will find us soon enough. Okay, so uh, what are you going to do about it? Me, sir? Well, if you had been away, it would have been my responsibility to resolve this case as the captain's substitute. However, as you have returned just in time, this now feels like your jurisdiction. I am but a first officer, and if the captain is aboard, the passengers, especially first class, won't talk to me. And then we just go, of course. Okay, so I've got more questions about it. Um, <laughs> sure, stunning and talking about problems seems a very effective way of dealing with them. I'm ascertaining all the information, Captain Sarcastic Pants. Um, what do you know about the hostage taker? The hostage taker contacted us via intercom from a panel in the engine bay. She refuses to talk any other way and threatens to use violence if anyone tries to enter the bay. Use a commerce pan on the bridge behind me. Jill is keeping an eye on the line. Ask her for help if needed. Okay. So what kind of weapon does she have? The only gun aboard. PNH 10 service sidearm. Grunberg had it on him. So I should get a hold of it. And he's using it to threaten him. Okay. So, right. Got it. Where's the intercom then? There. So there, oh, there's pilot Jill. There's the intercom. Okay. I'm very charismatic. I'm very good at talking to people. Now is the time. We haven't really done that much talking on the station. We talked to a few people and it was nice. Maybe now this is where Captain Betty Cupboard comes into her own and her amazing talkie skills can talk down someone who's taken hostage and it shall all be lovely. Right, active channel. Okay, a woman's face appears on the screen. Okay, who the heck are you? Right, read her personality. It's risky, but if we fail, it doesn't really matter. And, okay, we failed. I'm not going to re-roll it. We'll save it for something else. It's very hard to tell much about the person over the low-fidelity video stream. You decide that she's probably a crazy woman high on drugs. Okay, right. A really uh, precise technical definition there. Okay, no. Ah, hello, you muted a while. I am the captain. You look too young to be a captain. Well, thank you. I know, I look amazing. Nevertheless, I am the captain. 
Uh, we are ready to repair the ship and get out of here, but as I understand, you've taken our engineer hostage and blocked access to our engine bay. Why? Don't you realise you're acting against your own interests? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Do you really have the fuel controller? Yes, we do. I sort of assume that realistically, you would fail your mission, seeing how unlikely it is to find a working replacement part on some random space wreck. It was rigged. It was rigged. This person sent us down there, didn't they? You were part of some plan. Is that why you did this? Um, yeah. If we end up adrift in space, and access to food and water is even more critical for survival. But then there is no need for any of this anymore. We've got the chip. We can leave. It'll all be fine. We can all go home and it should be lovely. Uh, yeah. But now that I have a gun pressed against a person's head, it's a bit too late to back down. Ugh, oh, crikey. Okay. So... What's the end game here? How do you see yourself getting out of this? We ask this random lady. For now, it's too soon to worry about that. First, the elevator. While it's still locked, I'm not talking to you any further. Fix this. If I fix the elevator problem, will you let him go? Before I do anything, I need proof that the hostage is alive. Or I'll see what I can do. I mean, yeah. Is the person still alive? He is all right. Don't worry. Shuffles. Okay, a man's face appears on the screen. Ah, okay, hello engineer person, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. By the way, the engine may can be accessed also from the outside. He is suddenly pushed away. Hey, what's happening? That's more than enough proof, I gather. He is all right, yeah. So, about your demands. Okay, if I fix the elevator problem, will you let him go? No, of course not. This isn't even one of my demands. It's more of a reminder to do your gosh darn it job. Who's calling the shots? The captain of the first class. Do you want to kill more than half the passengers by depriving them of food and water? Sure, I can see your point. I'll do with the elevator thing, and then we can talk more. Oh, crikey. Um, okay, right. Let's see if we can sort the elevator thing out then. Oh, blimey, crikey. It's okay. Um, hostage crisis. However, they did say, the engineer guy did try to tell us that we can access the engine room from the outside or something, did they say? Ah, yes. Okay, we can get in from over there, look. We can get in from here if we just, I don't know, fly in from the back? Is that what we'd need to do? Or would we need to go to here and kind of make our way across that gap? Can we jump? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if we could get, uh, who's that, Lopez? If we could get over here, look. Well, that's some more engines. But then, yeah, get over here and then stop this person. Ah, there's, ah, right, here we go. This is the actual hostage situation here. So there's Grunberg, the engineer mechanic chappy, and there is the person who's taken them hostage. Okay, right. So first of all, we've got to go and sort out the elevator. Okay, so whereabouts is the elevator? Can we go mend that, please? That doesn't seem like it should be a tricky thing to do. Where is the elevator? It's just there. Um, okay, can we head over there and do some fixing of things? Okay, we have a remove floor tile next to the elevator. Why would that be the case? What's that all about? You see an open floor panel, and inside the crawl space there are bundles of wires. Okay, can we please fix it? Examine the crawl space to learn more. Apparently someone has tried or maybe even succeeded in rewiring the network cables for nearby devices, such as the elevator. Ah, okay, right, repair it then, please. Okay, so SciTech, I assume because it's greyed out, we're not good enough. So we can't do that. That would be quite handy, wouldn't it? That'd be useful. Looks like you'll need a soldering iron and a bit of spare wire, probably from any electronic junk. Okay, do we have a soldering iron? I don't think we do. I don't think we have a soldering iron. I'm fairly certain. We could have had one from the chappy, didn't we? From that chappy, but we got... Um, I don't know, some sort of saw, was it? That thing, a cutter saw. Is a cutter saw a weapon? Hang on, it's got a shooty gun symbol on it. Is that a weapon? Oh, oh, I thought it was like a tool for cutting through things, but no, it's quite heavy for a weapon that we're not going to use. Okay, okay, right, hang on then. So what do we need? A soldering iron and some spare wire, probably from any electronic junk. Okay. Do we have on the ship somewhere a soldering iron and some junk? Do we have any of that kind of stuff lying around? What about in these lockers? Pills, computer manual, soldering iron. Okie dokie, right? We shall have that, thank you very much. Not enough space. Okay, we'll put that cutter saw thing over there because we don't need that. That's okay. So we've got the soldering iron and then it was electronic junk. Yeah, there we go. We have some electronic junk over here. Okie dokie, wonderful. Right, so pick up. We'll pick up one lot for now. Oh, we can't pick up two because it's too heavy anyway. Okie doke. 
Right, so do we go and fix that then? Do we go and try to fix that? Or do we, I mean, do we want to talk to these people first? You, hello, how are you? Can we chat to you as well? Maybe on the way by, we'll just have a chat with you. Hello, somebody. How are you? Yes, can I help you? Do you know anything about the elevator blockade? Uh, yeah, good question. Blockade, is it locked? Had no idea. I never go down anyways. Hmm, now that you mention it, that passenger right there points to an angry looking man in a pink tracksuit across the room was doing something near the elevator moments ago. All right, thanks. Oh, hang on. I assume it's that person there. Uh, I mean, you're both wearing delightful pink tracksuits. Andrew Mildtown. Okay, let's have a chat with you then. What were you doing? Agitated. Hey, you, you're a member of the staff, right? I need to talk to you. Okay, let's try to read your personality. It's a risky effort. Come on, get us some pluses. Oh, two minuses. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you failed to detect anything specific about the man. I mean, he seems angry, probably high on drugs or something like that. Okay, that's a default option. Um, okay, yeah, you remember staff, right? Um, I am the captain, in fact. Perfect. Just the person I wanted to talk with. Okay, what's the problem? Nobody is telling us anything. How long are we going to be stuck here? Will the air, food and water suffice? Are first class passengers prioritised? Okay, yeah, what do you mean prioritised? Do you mean that if there is a problem with the air, you get it first over everybody else? What do you mean prioritised? I know it can be perceived as being cold, but we, first class passengers, have paid considerably more. Is it too much to expect some additional security? Uh, what are you suggesting? Okay, but currently there's no reason for, uh, for panic. Our resources are fine at the moment. Okay, what are you suggesting? I think we should restrict second-class passengers to the bottom deck only. Um, that's a bit too extreme. At the moment, everything is under control and there's no need to panic. Blah, blah, blah. I don't believe you people. You keep ignoring us. Your clients, the ones that pay you. I'm not used to laying down and waiting for good things to happen. I have taken matters into my own hands. Did you sabotage the elevator by any chance? What have you done? Okay. Proper segregation. Restore access to Bolter's elevator. Even though now I am a billionaire. Ooh, la -da -da, I started as a simple coder, so it was not too difficult for me to hack the elevator. Now it can be activated with this key card only. Shows a key card. Why would you do something like that? This is potentially very dangerous. No, your inaction is dangerous. Me, I have done nothing wrong. Water and food is still available. Just supervised. Okay. Oh, we've got some speech checks. Okay, this is exciting. Um, okay, because of you, a member of staff has been taken hostage. Speech check. I agree that first class passengers are entitled to more, but we should handle it better. Okay, that sort of seems fair. Speech check. I don't think you realise how serious this is. It is de facto piracy or some other stuff. But I think, given that we are Betty Cupboard, I think we go for this. Hang on, hang on. What are we wearing? What are we wearing? Can we very quickly change into our captain uniform? Because I believe that gives us an extra point of speech. Okay, right. Sorry, excuse me. I'm just going to change clothes in front of you. Hang on a second. There we go. Um, okay, I mean, yeah, okay. I agree that first class passengers are entitled to more, but we should handle it better. Because of course they are, it's first class. They've paid more to be in a better bit. They should have a better travel experience, um, but we should handle it better. That hopefully will placate him. Okay, here we go. So speech three, 50, 50, success, wonderful. Oh, you agree with me? Realizing you're on his side, he noticeably calms down. Was not expecting such a reasonable response. What are you suggesting and how it should be done? I could have blocked off the elevator. No need for hacking. Okay. Um, yes, and to avoid panic, pose it as a technical issue. Yes, that reduced the chance of a violent reaction. Also, because of the hack, we can access certain areas of the ship, which hinders our rescue efforts. Oh my. Listen, I'm sorry. I'll reset the doors immediately. Pauses. I mean, immediately after you get that out of order sign. No problem. I'll get it for you. Um, reset the doors. Oh, th is there an out of order sign somewhere? No problem. I'll get it for you. There's an out of order sign on the door, is there? Oh, it's in that locker there. Oh, okay, that seems a bit weird, but okay, out of order sign. So does he want us to deliver that to him? I'm a bit confused, to be honest, my good sir. What do you mean? Do you want this thing? Hey, Captain, what's up? Um, here's that out of order sign. Okay, oh, thanks. Takes the sign. Here, I'll unlock the elevator. Tinkers for a few moments. Done. Should be the same as before. Okay, 
So we've sorted the elevator out. That's now been fixed. So can we can we go downstairs? Can we go downstairs and see what's happening? Is it okay? Oh, we're not going to suffocate. Oh, hang on. Click on the lip. No, there's people there. There's people that aren't dead there. That's good. Right. Okay. We've got 16 XP points. That's quite good. Um, okay. So now we're down here. So we're kind of through on the other side. Okay. So hello. Uh, Jake Smith doesn't really want to talk to us. What about you? Do you want to talk to us? Sven Svalbard also doesn't want to talk to us. Okay. I think what we do is let's go and tell the hostage taker lady that we've actually sorted the lift out because that's what she wants us to do so let's go and have a chat with her okay there we go so she says you're back did you fix the elevator problem yes it's unlocked really okay let me check disappears from the screen for a moment then returns indeed you're right the elevator is working again thank you i mean that was highly illegal and unethical in the first place but still i've kept my end of the bargain now it's your turn Hold your horses. As I already said, that was not even one of my demands. Okay, what do you want? Or, and what your demands? We have pirates on our tail and you're putting everyone, including yourself, in needless danger. Maybe if we're dealing with somebody who's already of the mindset to take a hostage, don't aggravate them even more by doing this. Maybe just keep things calm and just keep things reasonable and they might be a little bit more sort of friendly. So what do you want? I want your room. The captain's quarters. Okay, you're welcome, where I will spend the rest of the trip together with Mr. Grundberg. Oh, it's like that, is it? Considering he's the only competent member of the staff, I see it only fitting that he gets to take a few days off. Oh, and by the way, I will need a spacesuit as well. Uh, okay, when are you going to let him go? Since I would uh, move away from the engine bay, I will lose leverage. Thus, Mr. Grundberg has to stay with me as a hostage, of course. I will release him as soon as I'm safe, but no sooner than we're in Earth's orbit. Okay, <laughs> so he just gets to have a little sit down with you. Um, why do you need a spacesuit? None of your business. Any functioning suit will do. I am not picky. I mean, we've got one. You could have ours. Um, we need him to repair the engine. Oh, please. He's already repaired the engines. All you need to do is install the new fuel chip. Anyone can do that. Even you. Don't, <laughs> don't underestimate my incompetence, but fine. I'll give it a try. Or... Uh, fine, then will you let us access the engine blocks? Yeah, go for that. Again, don't annoy them. Uh, as I said, I want your room. Okay, um, you can have the room if that's what it takes. I'm not that bothered. I'd rather give you our room and not get vaporized by pirates. Thank you. Um, good. Bring the room's keycard and spacesuit down and put them in the box near the workshop door. Also bring some food and water. Say, put five food items and five water bottles there. I don't care what, just something to eat and drink. Call me when you're done. Okay, so room's key card and spacesuit, five food, five water. Okay, I'll let you know when it's done. Uh, what are we looking at there? What are we looking at? Hang on, let's go down to the room and see if we can find where the box might be. Okay, I think it's that box there, isn't it? Okay, so if we click on that, can we just put things in here? Okay, so captain's quarters key card. She wants that, so there you go. And the spacesuit. Light engineer space. So, yeah, you can have that as well. That's fine. Look at our weight come down. My goodness me. Uh, and then uh, we've got a space potato stew. You're welcome to have that. We are lacking other food options and we haven't got any drink at all. Um, is there a kitchen? Is there a kitchen? Uh, oh, hang on. There might be some stuff in here. There might be some stuff in here. Look, what's in here? Pink drink? That, that's a drink. They said they weren't bothered. Pink drink will do. Um, whiskey, maybe not whiskey. Black coal cola. That seems like a drinky thing. That's fine. Hair, ooh, hairpin. Always grab a hairpin. Always useful. Um, okay, I mean, that's some stuff. That's some stuff. Let's go and have a little hunt around the rest of the station just to see if we can find anything else, any other sort of food and drink. There must be some. There's got to be a kitchen. There's got to be a little kind of sort of kitchen canteen type thing somewhere. So let's go and have a little look around. Ah, right. Okay. We have to get into that room there because it's full of all sorts of useful bits and bobs. So that's got bottled water. That's got water and space food paste. That's got space food paste. Okay. We have to get in there. So how do we get in there? There is either a vent or a door. Let's go for the door. And then if that goes wrong, we'll have a go with the vent. But here we go. So tinker... Come on, come on, roll some pluses. 
Two minuses and a plus bar the rations. Okay, right. The hairpin has been lost. That's a bit of a nuisance. Right, go through the tunnel. Oh, and it just works like that, does it? Okay. Right, bottled water. So we'll have three lots of that. Thank you. And then space food paste. Five lots. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So I think, um, have we got enough water? We'll take another couple of waters. We'll take, hang on, what did I just take? Possibly didn't take the water, but never mind. Oh no, we can take another one. We'll take all of that water. That's all absolutely fine. Yay for the huge amounts of water we've just picked up. Right, so go back through there, crawl through a tunnel. We're the captain. We shouldn't be crawling through air vents. Uh, and then come back down here and drop those things off. And then we're going to have a chat with her again. Okay, I've thrown in what I think they need. So they've got enough drink and they've got enough food. That's all absolutely fine. Okie doke. Right, let's go back to the console thing and have a chat with the hostage taker. Okay, hello hostage taker. How are you? You've got food and drink and everything else. Um, there you go. Everything you asked for should be in the box. Oh yeah, let me check. No, it's not. What kind of incompetent fool are you? I mean, we're very incompetent. How hard is it to take freaking notes? Write it down. I want 10 food and 10 bottles of water, the key card and a space suit. Hang on, you didn't say 10 before, did you? Did she say 10 before? I thought she said 5 before. Oh, okay. It, it's 10 food and 10 water. Oh, I'm fairly sure it said 5. I thought it said 5. Have they changed their demands? I think they might have changed their demands. Um, Hang on, we can go and check. We can go and look up here, I think, because it's got the log. Uh, oh, crikey. Bring some food and water. Five food items and five water bottles. Okay, so they've changed their demands. Okay, fine. Back we go to the little sort of kitchen thing over here. We'll grab all the stuff and then we'll put more stuff in their little kind of box of goodies. Right, there we go. All the additional food and drink is in their box. So now let's go and tell them that. So everything you asked for should be in the box. So yeah, let me check. All right, it is indeed. Then now I will move to the room with Mr. Gearhead here. You can then access this room here and fix the engines. Okay, how do we fix the engines without the mechanic? Can we do it? Please, anyone can replace a fuel chip. Open the engine and insert the chip. Duh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's do it. Again, let's not antagonise them. Let's do it. You're in charge here. It's all fine. All right, here we go. She disappears from the screen. Oh, resolve the hostage crisis in one way or another. She disappears from the screen. Okay, so close the thing. Oh, they're in there. They're in there now, look. That's quite exciting. And we've leveled up. Okay, this is exciting. We've gained experience and knowledge. Okay, choose a skill to improve. Okay, don't bother with melee. Don't bother with range. Don't bother with sneak. It's either going to be... I think speech is okay. Speech is okay. Tinker would be handy. Tinker would be handy. But Cytech has come incredibly useful. That's become incredibly useful for what we want to do. For hacking computers and you know, doing various other bits and bobs. So it's either... Get Cytech up to four, which would be quite good. That might allow us to do other bits and bobs. Or get Tinker up to three to bring it into line with these. Um, I mean, Tinkering is good. That's a picking locks and things. That could be useful. But Cytech is good for computers. We're on our ship. We have got to go and fix an engine. I mean, that could be potentially Cytech or Tinkering, couldn't it? Not quite sure which one it is. Do we go for Tinkering? Or do we go for Cytech? I'm quite tempted to go for Cytech and just get that up to four. Because that sounds exciting. That sounds like a good thing to do. And then we can be, yeah, that can be our sort of fallback option. We don't get to do much in the way of speech. We don't get to do that much in the way of speech to help us out with things, really. So, um, yeah, Cytech at four would be quite good. Then if we do have sort of Cytech roles to make, we are more likely to pass them. Which could be quite handy. Do you know what? We're going to go for Cytech. Yeah, let's do that. Improve it from three to four. We've improved Cytech. Wonderful. Okie dokie. Now what do we do? <laughs> what do we do now? Hang on. To do. Oh yeah, put the fuel chip in, of course. Um, The fuel chip. Hang on a second. We might be in a spot of bother here. Let me go and check something. Okay, there's the broken engine. And I think it is out in the empty vacuum of space. But we don't have a spacesuit because we gave it to the lady hostage taker person. So we can't go out there and fix that. Is there a spacesuit somewhere else? Have we got to go and get ourselves a spacesuit now? That is a little bit of a nuisance. Also, they left behind some cola and some pink drink and some space food paste. That's a little bit rude. Um. Okay, okay, right. Now we need to find a spacesuit. 
Is there one over here somewhere? Can we please go and find a spacesuit? That will be wonderful. There's one there, but it says passenger spacesuit. Are they going to get a little bit huffy if I go and try to take that? Are they going to get a bit grumpy? It seems that somebody objects to you touching that container, either avoid being seen or something else. Oh, there you go. Get rid of witnesses first. Okay. So either try to avoid being seen or kill all of these people in that room. Is that what that means? Um, can we have a chat? Are you guarding this? Are you guarding that? Hey, hands off. Those suits are for passengers and I'll make sure that no funny business happens. Okay. Speech check. Okay, this is fine, but I really need a spacesuit. Can't we work something out? We're good at speech. It's likely to pass. And it does. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. Candle. Okay, candle needs a break. Bring drugs to candle or Kendall, whatever it was. Hmm, actually, yes, we could. I mean, if something hits the fan, the spacesuit probably won't save me. However, I could use a break about now. Break from the stress. Can you get him some stay weight pills? Say three tabs and water. I'll give you my spacesuit in return. All right, I'll think about it. I think, have we got, I think we've probably got stay awake pills. We've got three lots and some water. Yes, we've got your stuff right here. We've got it. Yeah, absolutely. I've got stay awake pills and water. Okay, so that's good. There is a stress meter, is there? Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Grabs the items and the suit. Hands you a standard issue passenger suit. Here it is. Okie dokie. Right, well, that was a fun little thing to sort out. We did have the stuff on us, which was quite convenient, but okay. Um, There's something there about a red beeping, a red light and a beeping noise, but okay. Right, so then I think we go to here. Let's pop the passenger spacesuit on. Uh, does that give us any bonuses to anything? Plus one armour. Oh, okay. That's quite handy, I suppose. Uh, so we're in a lovely sort of uh, orangey red number. Very nice. And then... I think we go through here. Damaged fuel regulator. Okay, so do we just do we just take that out and put the other one in? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't know how to fix spaceship engines. Um, uh, where is it? Fuel regulator. Okay, so put one of those in. Okay, so now it's got a not broken fuel regulator. You're trying to tell me that that one engine. That one engine being broken meant that the entire ship couldn't move, really. Um, okay, what do we do now then? Fuel chip. Uh, do we have to switch it on? What's that? There's like a computer in the engine room. Do we do that? Run engine diagnostics. That seems like a good thing. Okay, I have things online. Uh, okay, what do we do now? Just leave? Do we just leave? Maybe. Maybe now the idea is that we just go to the go to the bridge. I don't know, stick it in warp five and press go or whatever. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Let's go back to the bridge. Okay, we're on the bridge. I kind of feel like we should be wearing the captain uniform if we're on the bridge. So there we go. Um, uh, okay, I mean, do, do we talk to you? You seem to be sort of piloting stuff. Uh, oh, here we go. Captain, we need to resolve the hostage crisis as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, it's already been done. It's already been done. It's been solved. We're all good. Perfect. Now, have you already replaced the fuel chip? Yes, it is replaced. We are ready to go. Wonderful. Okay, size with relief. And not a moment too soon, Captain. Let's get the heck out of here. He gets to the helm controls and starts tapping buttons. Then suddenly he stops. Oh, crikey, what's wrong now? His face is white and covered with sweat. Captain, what is it? Captain, it's too late. The pirates, they are here. Oh, botherations. Okay, right. But again, keep, keep level-headed. Keep on, on to the topic here. I see. What now? Let's figure out a plan. It's a bit weird. They're just off to our starboard with their guns trained on us, but they don't advance further. They're just waiting. Then their captain contacted us. He's requesting that you come aboard their ship. Okay, why is that the case? He claims it is a discreet matter and should not be discussed over radio waves, only in an eye-to-eye -eye meeting. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a trap. But why? I mean, we're sitting ducks. If we try to run, bam, another iron torpedo. If they want our ship, all they have to do is breach the hull. Not even that. We'll open the doors once they start knocking because we don't want to dive decompression. We don't have anything to lose. Okay. Um, I don't think I have a choice. I mean, uh, this it seems a little bit like a trap, but okay, fine, I'll do it. Captain Mask, what's your plan? Uh, I, uh, who knows? I don't have a plan. Since I haven't attacked yet, it means a diplomatic solution is still on the table. 
I'll get a deal that works for us and them. I'll exterminate the terrorists. This invitation is a golden opportunity to covertly sabotage their ship and disable their weapons and propulsion systems. I think we go for diplomacy. We're good at diplomacy. We're okay at that. That's one of our strong points. So let's go for that one there. That seems like a wise approach. They initiated the talks after all. We should be smart enough to exploit the opportunity. You have my full support, if anything. I'll hold you to that. Wink. Oh, let's go for a bit of a cheeky wink there. I have an uneasy feeling about this. It's like being in out of in an out of control car that is speeding toward the abyss. But it's in your hands. On my way, of course, I will get to the shuttle again. Okay, on my way. Right, so now we have to go over to... Hang on, is that the pirate ship? That's the pirate ship. Okay, <laughs> that's not our ship, is it? Our ship isn't that big. Okay, the pirate ship is gigantic. So now we need to go to the pirate ship. Uh, okay, doke. Right, let's fly over to the pirate ship. I assume we go down into the hatch and then get in the shuttle and go over there. I assume that's how this all works. Okay, yeah, we're on the pirate ship now. We've just flown over and docked over there, which is all very good. As you step on the pirate ship, a person immediately approaches you. Okay, so let's try and read them. It might be hard if that's them because, you know, they've got a space helmet on and such. It's a success. Judging from the posture and shape of their body, you presume that this is more likely a man. He's a bit short, but walks with noticeable confidence, clearly a man of rank. He seems relaxed, friendly, and cooperation oriented. However, you notice that his gun is unclipped, loaded, and the guy seems calm, yet 100% ready to start combat if anything goes wrong. He is not joking. Okay, right. Don't mess with this person, because he possibly could kill us to death. Hello. Okay, welcome to Sepicoda. Okay, that's the name of the... Uh, pirate ship, I assume. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, let's keep it all nice and friendly. Before I leave you to your business, there are a few instructions I must pass on. Okay, what are they? Captain has given you an unprecedentedly warm welcome. You are free to access all general areas of the ship. However, you must comply with personnel instructions if given, and you will be accompanied by an armed guard. Okay, so, okay, what have we got here then? Different things. Yeah, where can I find the captain? I have a meeting with him scheduled. Yes, of course, but before that, I must frisk you since you are not allowed to carry weapons or explosives on this ship. Um, okay, right. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I mean, if it is a trap, we can't fight anyway. So whether we do or don't have our weapons makes no difference. We are rubbish with them. So let's let him frisk us. He very professionally pats you down and quickly checks your suit. Uh, it seems you have weapons on you. You know, the instructions were clear. You must come alone and unarmed. I don't recall reading those instructions, but okay, I'll take these and let's just pretend this never happened. Okay, give up your weapons. Don't complain, don't have a fight, just give them up. They're only rubbish anyway. He quickly takes away your weapons and puts them in his own bag. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Very well, everything seems to be in order. Please follow me to the hatch, then climb down and proceed to the front of the ship to the bridge. The captain is already waiting for you there. Uh, okay, so the key ca uh, a hatch key card has been added. Here's a key card to the exterior hatch. Hands you a plastic card. But now, yes, let's go. So we've been given access to the pirate ship. Okay, so let's follow him. Okay, here we go. So there's our little ship. Hang on, where's he? Is that him? Hang on, wait up a second. <laughs> wait, you're going too quickly. You're going too fast. So yeah, there's the pirate ship. So we're now on the top of it. And there's our ship over there. So I assume that's that's the captain at the front, is it? Yeah, somebody. So I imagine that's the captain just there. Um, okay, so we're going down. Uh, I assume we're going down this hatch then, are we? I don't really know. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, crikey. Right, okay. Not much room in here. Uh, that door is locked. That door is not. Let's, let's go that way. I'm kind of expecting you to lead the way, to be honest, given that I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, there we go. There we go. That's got to be the captain. That's got to be the captain because they're wearing a fancy captain's hat. Okay, right. So I think then let's go and have a chat with you. I think we probably should for now put the captain uniform on so we can chat captain to captain. That would be quite good. Right, there you go. Hello, captain. Pleasure meeting you. Welcome to the Pakoda. I'm the captain of this vessel and my name is Salmo. How do you do? I like your hat, Salmo. Okay, so let's try to read him before we do anything else. So 50-50 chance. Oh, we're spectacularly awful. 
<laughs> okay, we've no idea who he is. Can we trust him? Is he scheming? Who knows? Okay, how do you do? You attack my ship and are currently holding innocent people hostage. Make it short. Again, let's be nice. He's let us on here. He's not going to have blown the ship up or taken us captive or whatever. He's invited us over and he's given us access to his ship. So how do you do? It's so unfortunate that we have to meet in such circumstances, but don't despair. That's actually what I wanted to talk with you about. Okay, I have a proposal to you. I will immediately release you, your ship, and all of your people. Yeah, but, I mean, there's got to be a but. What's the catch here? What's the catch? You see, I've lived here, among stars and junk, for more than 20 years. I'm unbelievably tired of this place, this reality, and would, without any hesitation, exchange this life for a simple existence somewhere on Earth. So, you want to ride? <laughs> okay, so he wants to not be a pirate anymore. He wants to just go back to Earth and just, you know, I don't know, just live on a beach drinking pina coladas. Okay, so you want to ride? So we've got to buy off pirate Captain Salmo. Yes, but it's not all I want. I believe even on Earth, life without money would be terrible and possibly just as depressing as here. To risk my life and everything I've got here, I need a ride and some money. Okay, I don't have much money. No, not your money, dear friend. You're a blue-collar, hard-working person. You can't have much. Um, okay, what then? Among your passengers, there must be some wealthy and rich people. I want you to convince a couple of them to sponsor me. Give me seed capital, if you want. Okay, let's issue my message to that. What happens with us? Yeah, so if we do do that, what happens then? I would like you to convince these people to spare 100,000 peer coins. I don't know if that's a lot. It sounds like a lot. Once you have the money, we can then return to your ship together and just fly away. Where is the guarantee that your crew won't just go after us or launch another Ion Torpedo? That's a good point. I've got a captain's keycard that's required for the most important ship functions. For example, movement and, yes, weapons. I could take it with me and they couldn't follow us or fire at us. Eventually, they would hack the system to change keycard access, but by then we would be out of reach. Okay, I kind of get the feeling that this is... You're not asking us to do this. You're telling us to do this. Yeah, do I have a choice? Well, admittedly, you are in a tough spot. If you wish to keep your ship and safely return to Earth, you don't have any other choice, unless you wish to be boarded and spend the rest of your life adrift. Honestly, just say, I'll get you your money, and then if you have 100,000 for me before time runs out, I'll get you to safety. <sighs> I'll get you your money. Good, and I'll be ready whenever you are. Just bear in mind, I cannot wait forever. Okay, so do we have a time limit on this? Also, keep in mind that this conversation, of course, is between us. If anyone else gets a whiff of this, we're both screwed. Okay, fair enough. Uh, meanwhile, you're visit uh, welcome to visit Sepakoda whenever you want. I've given orders to allow you safe passage. You can walk around, uh, look around, and talk to my people. Come and see me when you have something. Okay. Okay, so it is quite an unusual level of freedom you're giving us. Why is that? Captain, we are civilised people aboard Sepakoda. While we have been forced to sometimes do things we're not proud of, it's only for survival. We're not some sort of anarchist military organisation. This is a vessel of survivors, not aggressors. Okay, long story short, are you trying to improve your image in my eyes? I need you to understand that we're on the same side, Captain. I'm taking a chance by showing you maximum trust, and I'm also taking a huge risk, because if anything goes wrong, I'll have to answer for it fully. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm with you on that. And you know what? You've got a good hat. So there we go. See you later on. So now we've got to go and get, what was it? 100,000 monies or something, was it? So how are we going to go and do that? We need to go and talk to the rich people on our ship, don't we? We need to get our spacesuit back on and then go back to our ship and have a chat with all the people in first class and try to get them all to give us their money so we can give it to this chap so he doesn't blow us out of the skies. Okay, right, that makes sense. Let's go back to our ship then. Let's make our way back over here. Ah, you're coming with us. Okay, so you're our sort of, you're our sort of, uh, yeah, little sort of companion, sort of security person. Was it up that ladder? I think it was up this ladder, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Uh, right, let's head back to our ship then. And we'll go and quiz some of the, uh, the more well-off folks on the first class deck. Okay, what about this guy? The guy that hacked the lift. Can you give us some money, please? Because otherwise we might get blown up by pirates. Uh, hey, Captain, what's up? It's about the pirates. They've requested a ransom we can't pay. Pauses. Ooh, you want to ask me for money? Not necessarily. Just thought you should know this option exists. How much do they want? 100,000 monies. 
Sheesh, man, that's a lot. If we cannot pay, they'll take anything they get their hands on, and we could be stranded for weeks if they touch the engines. What if other passengers chip in? Okay. Okay, so share the burden. Do you know what? Let's go for that. What if other passengers chip in? That would work. Okay, ah, we've been given 33,000 peer coins. That'd work. Realistically, I think there are no more than two people on this ship who can afford to share the ransom payment. So I'll participate with one third of the sum, say 33,000 peer coins, immediately transfers the sum to your valet, wallet possibly. I expect us to move soon. All right. Um, okay, you don't want to wait until I speak with the others. I trust you, Captain. And this way it's going to be faster. Once you get the sum, just get us out of here. Okay, so he's just given us a huge pile of money. Okay, that's good, isn't it? Hang on, where's where's all our money? We've now got 33,015 of the monies. That's quite impressive. Um, okay, right, let's keep chatting to all the people and see if we can get some more financial contributions going on. Okay, we have a person here who might be willing to help us out with the money. She was quite thirsty, so we gave her some water, and now she seems to like us, which is good. So, yeah, she says 100,000 is too much for her. Having said that, I would consider parting with some money to finally end this stressful situation. So what if I found another guest who's willing to pitch in, which we already have? Okay, so go for that. Yes, yes, that'd be better. Find two more, and I think I can provide you with a third of the amount. Okay, got it. I'll get back to you. Okay, so Genoa Dilkirk is on board. Right, that's good news. This is good. Let's go and find a third person. There's a few more people around. There's somebody there and somebody there. And I think that might be it. Okay, so let's go and chat with these two. Okay, we have another lady here who might be about to throw some money into the great big cash pot, which would be good. We did have to unlock the kitchen for her. She got a little bit grumpy that there wasn't any food available. So we've unlocked the kitchen door. We found a hairpin and went to unlock the kitchen. That's all done. And now she seems quite happy. So she now says, I see your point, but still, I don't like the idea that I pay and everyone else is getting a free ride. I want others to share the expenses. Not everyone, of course, the wealthier passengers, I mean. So who do you have in mind? OK, so get Kapos on board and Lady Dilko. They are on board. They are on board. Kapos has given us the money already. So all right. OK, so now can we go back to you? OK, so Genoa Dilkirk, thank you for the water. That's OK. Can we discuss something? Uh, you're right. Ransom. OK, so... Um, I found another guest. Got it. I'll get back to you. OK, they're all willing to chip in. <laughs> they're all willing to chip in. Do you get a chance to talk to them? Um, if the two of them are on board, I'll cover my part. Not yet working on it. Uh, OK, maybe we need to talk to him again and tell him who the other two people are. And then he might go, yeah, absolutely. This is brilliant. I'm all on board with this. This is wonderful. How's the fundraiser going? We aren't moving yet. OK, soon, very soon. Buy. Okay. Hang on a minute. This is confusing. So he's fully on board with it. So how do we get these other two people on board? Thank you for the water. Um, okay, this has gone a bit strange. Hang on a minute. Let's let's jab enough buttons and make this work because they are all going to be on board. We just need to kind of, you know, I don't know, pick the right dialogue options or whatever to get them actually properly into our sort of uh, cash pot project. Okay, we might have hit a little bit of a bug here because no matter what order I talk to the rich people in, they just do not contribute to the great big let's not get killed by pirates fund. If we talk to the rich guy, he just goes, do you know what? We're not moving yet. Come along. Let's get on with it. We talk to the lady who wanted some water and she just goes through exactly the same conversation again and then says, yep, okay, get two more people on board and I'll help you out. And then the lady at the end, who's near to the kitchen, she just says this every time. She goes, did you get a chance to talk with those people? And we say not yet working on it, which is, of course, nonsense because we have talked to the two people. So I'm not entirely sure what we can do here. I think maybe we might need to do a little bit of a reload and possibly try something different. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. There we go. That worked. So when we're talking to the rich computer hacky man in the pink tracksuit, we've got two options. And one says, hey, we'll get the people to chip in. And the other one says something like, oh yeah, the pirates will come on board and they'll take everything of value and leave us stranded here forever. And I think that spooks him. That scares him. And he goes, okay, okay, I get the point. All right, fine. I am willing to spend 100,000 monies to make this go away. Here, take this. Transfers peer coins to your wallet. That goes without saying, I expect we start moving soon, right? Okie dokie. Yes, yes, of course. Right. We have all the money we need. Just a quick check, just to make sure. Yes, We've got 100,015. So I think we found 15 on the station, didn't we? Okie dokie. Oh, that's good. Right. Okay. This is all good. So now I think 
we can come back here and we can get back in our spacesuit. So go back to there. So go back into the spacesuit and we'll fly back over to the pirate ship and we'll tell the captain of the pirate ship the good news. We'll tell him that you can come with us and have a lovely trip back to Earth. Hello, Pirate Captain Salmo. I have very, very good news indeed. Do you have any substantial progress updates to share? I have it all. We can go. It's going to be wonderful. And there we go. Is it? Checks the ledger. Ah, you're right. Perfect. We can't drag it on any longer. Let's go right now. Okay, yes, absolutely. Okay, I don't know what that stress thing is doing there, but okay, we've completed sneak attack apparently. Um, oh no, as he done that, the captain turns to the console, quickly types something on the keyboard, then turns back while quickly putting on his spacesuit. It's done. Now we leave before anybody realises. Okay, I don't think we say, wait, what's happening? Because that's going to slow things down. Clearly, he's just, you know, disabled their weapons or whatever. End the conversation. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle right now, because I suspect the pirates are going to think that something is up when their ship goes a bit wibbly. So here we go. Let's just run back onto the roof and leg it to our ship as quick as we can and get out of here. Okay, we're on the way back to our ship, but we do have some different stuff going on. What's happened? Oh, we've got a little kind of cutscene thing happening. Okay, is this the end? Have we just finished everything off? I mean, yeah, there's our fairly beaten up ship. Oh, there we go. And so the story about a young and inexperienced captain who got their ship hijacked on the very first day had ended. For everyone involved, life moved on. Losing the ship destroyed all their plans, though. The mother load of fuel was now utterly useless. Despair and depression set in. Okay. It's hard to describe the feelings of liberation and freedom you brought to Santa. You managed to rid her of reoccurring pain and inconvenience for, uh, for what she was extremely grateful. Okay. Captain Salmo kept his word. He left Sepikoda with the keycard. You managed to slip away while pirates could only helplessly shake their fists. Oh, so he did keep his word. And he did come with us back to Earth. Former pirate Captain Salmo got his wish. He got to the Earth and had some money to spend. Pina coladas ahoy. That was really handy since gravity did a serious damage to his body and he required long and expensive physical therapy. Also, formally relieved of piracy charges, some of the passengers sued him for extortion. The litigation went on until one day he just disappeared. Oh, that's a bit sad. Salmo leaving the ship created a power vacuum and reignited the old differences inside the already divided crew. Okay, that's about the pirate ship, I assume. Eventually, the we need to change approach and military professionals rhetoric won the support propelling Antes to the helm of the ship. I don't know if we met Antes or not, but okay. Under the leadership of Antes and the military-oriented crew, ships at Picard became more effective at piracy. More often than not, they chose destructive missiles instead of less reliable but more humane ion torpedoes. There were no more negotiations, but a lot more ambushes and effective boardings. It went so well, Antes even expanded onto multiple ships, led by trustworthy underlings that expanded the boundaries of infamous pirate zone. This, though, resulted in much better, much more better guarded and equipped ships that led to more and more bloodier encounters with increasing casualties on both sides. We don't know who Antes is. <laughs> After having dealt with pirates, you were approached by Lady Claudia, who personally thanked you for acting utmost professionally and placing to passenger well-being as high priority. Her praise later helped you get some really important contacts and powerful friends. Lady Claudia was one of the guests on the ship, I think. I don't really think we did much with her. We had a chat with her, but I don't think we did too much with her. Thankfully, you managed to unlock the rigged elevator, thus avoiding potentially disastrous escalation. However, nobody really noticed your effort. You did not even get a simple thanks from anybody, leaving you somewhat disgruntled. Lady Geno Del Kirk was on the verge of fainting because of the dehydration. The water you bought her made all the difference and helped her getting back on her feet. She remembered the good deed when she returned to Earth and gave company a full star review on RateRocket.com. Even though Yanis Kapos soon discovered that the out-of-order sign does not restrict second-class passengers in any way, at this point it did not matter anymore, so he sort of forgot about it. Funnily enough, he left a very good impression on him, and later it turned out to be a valuable connection. Oh, that's quite good. And then... Uh, okay. Is that us? Is that us at the bottom of some sort of spaceship leaving dock type thing? Okay. Oh, there we go! It's done! It's finished! We've completed the game. Okay, that's quite intriguing. That is quite intriguing. Okay, so it's done. So we did do it in the end. So we helped the pirate captain 
leave his life of piracy behind and go and live on Earth. We get everybody back. We avoided a kind of a class war on our own ship between the first class and second class passengers. And there we go. We've sorted it all out. Oh, wonderful. There we go. That was excellent then. That was good fun. And it panned out okay in the end. We didn't have to go around and blow everything up. Nobody kind of really got killed apart from that one guy that we led to those robots that got killed. But let's forget about that one poor guy. But there we go. That was wonderful. We've done it. Okay, well done, Captain Betty Cohen. You might have been new to the job, but I think she did a grand job. And now we get to look at the star map thing here, which shows us the path we took to get from the very start over here to the very end over here. So we kind of took this slightly wibbly circuitous route, but that's okay. But each one of these little stars represents an event in the game. And look how many there are. Look how many little stars there are. And there are so many that we haven't looked at. We've only completed 20% of the story. So there's an awful lot going on on there. Look, there are so many little things, so many events that we haven't seen or uncovered or whatever. There's an awful lot going on. I mean, all these ones up here, these ones I imagine up here are to do with the pirate ship, but I don't know what they're all to do with. Are they still back on the station? Are these all kind of station-based events? Maybe there were loads of things that we just didn't find on the station, or maybe you go somewhere else. Maybe some of these are on the big orange ship that we went on to where we need the fuel chip from. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it's a game that definitely rewards sort of replaying it again in a completely different way. So yeah, maybe if we were to play it again, next time we go in as a great big kind of fighty character and go in all guns blazing and see how we do with that. But uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. It's a very, very big game. And I'm really glad we took the time to look at it. I have enjoyed it. It's been very, very enjoyable. And I think Betty Cubber did a good job. Captain Betty Cubber did a good job. My only sort of main not sort of concern as such, but my main sort of gripe about it was that we built Betty Cupboard to be all very charismatic and talky, and I don't feel like we really got to use that very much. I kind of feel like if we were to do it again, probably creating a character that was good at sort of hacking and that kind of stuff, or maybe tinkering, might have been a bit more useful because there were lots of computers and things to hack and lots of things, you know, build and craft and tinker and such, but there weren't that many people to talk to. And even then, the people that we could talk to, not that many of them had kind of speech option things where we could try to influence them. So that was a little bit sort of a little bit of a bother. But you know what? Never mind. Betty Cover did a grand job. She got out of there alive. And I think, bar that one poor person that followed us and then got killed by a robot, I think that was it, wasn't it? In terms of in terms of death. I think there's only the one person. And I mean, we didn't kill a person. We took down a few robots, but we killed no people as well. So there we go. All in all, it was very good indeed. We got everybody out. We got everybody back home. And we even turned a pirate captain back into a normal civilian who had a lovely time back on Earth drinking pina coladas for a bit until he mysteriously disappeared. But let's just kind of gloss over that. It was all good. Hooray for Captain Betty Cupboard and her first and probably only trip out into space because I imagine that was quite traumatic and she never wanted to do it ever again. But there we go. It's all done, wrapped up, lovely stuff. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding on a part bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous.